All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a bear. I just woke up out of, I just took me a little nap. I woke up. First thing I, first, my first train of thought when I woke up was fear not. Yeah, and this thing of ours, you know what I'm saying? We're going to suffer. I want to get that right quick. My first train of thought when I woke up through the spirit of you have about Shemar Shah is fear not. Yeah, we're going to go through it. You know, we're going put, to be put in all kind of predicaments. But then we got the scriptures, right? The men of old, the prophets of old, they was always put in different predicaments, in different situations. Then, and it pretty much seemed like it was impossible for them to get out of it. But they put their trust and their faith in Yahweh, but Shemia was shy. And that's what it was always about. That's what it's always been about. And that's what it's always going to be about. Putting that trust in Yahweh, but Shemia was shy at the end of the day. All things, remember Israel, all things are possible with Yahweh, but Shemia was shy. So let's get this. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Because yeah, we're going to suffer, whatever. But at the same time, the scriptures told us not to fear, to fear not. I always, always um, revert right back to the Maccabee brothers. How you have about Shemel Shai had that cold spirit on it to be able to endure all that that they went through. Those men are back now, 2020. With that same spirit on them. They, they're somewhat praying right about now. They're praying for more endurance. They're praying, praying for more strength. They're praying for more faith. They're praying for more prayer. To you have about Shemel Shai to keep his spirit on them. First Peter chapter four verse one for as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh. Remember, Israel, the Lord suffered in the flesh for us, right? You know, the Lord didn't want to go through it, but He knew He had to go through it. Look, we don't want to go through it, but we know we got to go through it, right? That's that's part of the road. That's part of the contract. For as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. So in your everyday walk of life, you got to already know that you might be one of those ones that have to suffer. We're suffering anyway, period. But you might be one of those Israelites that end up in a concentration camp. You might end up being one of those Israelites to have your neck up under the guillotine. You might be one of those Israelites that have to lay your life down. For your how about Shemel Shah says, make your body a living sacrifice. When we go out there on the highways and byways week in and week out, and look, we're putting our lives on the line. You don't know if you're going to make it home. That's just part of the contract, man. And suffering is part of the contract. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his life. So like it, they should, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. And it is what it is. It is what it is, man. And either, either way, you know what I'm saying, if you have to um, lose your life or you get beamed up in a chariot, either way, you're still getting delivered. Still getting delivered. This is on Romans chapter 8. Salakia. Romans chapter 8, verse 16, it reads, The Spirit, the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of of Yasha Allah. We are the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yasha Allah, princes of the power, right? And if children, then heirs. Joint, look, heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with him. So, yeah, we're going to arm our minds like Yahweh Shai, he suffered in the flesh. But then it says, you know what I'm saying? If we suffer for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we suffer for righteousness, right? And we're going to reign with them. What does it say? If so be that we suffer, you want to be joint heirs? Now we're in the flesh. It said the spirit is truly willing, but the flesh is weak. So we're in the flesh right about now. So you're going to get nervous. You end up in a concentration camp. You end up with your head up under a guillotine. You end up in front of a firing squad. Of course, you're going to be nervous. But then that spirit going to kick in. That faith going to kick in. That's why it says, blessed he that readeth. For I reckon that the sufferings of this prison, no, no, I'm so lucky, I skipped it. 
if so be that we suffer with them, that we may also be so like it that we I'm hype right about now. I woke up hype. That we may be also glorified together. So you want to be glorified when the Lord come? You got to suffer. You want to be joint heirs? You got to suffer. Fear not, Jacob. Fear not thy worm, Jacob. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be which shall be revealed in us, man. And Lord willing, we of that number. The suffering of this present time, everything that we're going through, leading up to the hour of temptation, where they're going to make it mandatory that you take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. But oh yeah, it's June. Ain't no microchip. Shut up, man. You suffer for your how, but shimmy, I was shy. And you're going to reign with them. But if you deny them before men, you know, plus the scriptures tell us in Proverbs 24 and 10, that thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. That's why we're supposed to be praying for more strength now. Praying for more faith now. Let me see if that's it. I think that's it. Proverbs 24, that's what the Spirit is telling me. Proverbs 24, 10. Yep. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, when you start catching hell and that tribulation come, you know, when you end up in a concentration camp, when you end up with the guillotine coming down in your head, and, and um, don't get inside your head too much either, Israel. The men of our nation, man. Don't get inside your head too much either, man. You'll bug yourself out. What could happen? What, what might happen? You don't know. Okay? If it's the Lord will for you to be a martyr, then you're going to be a martyr. But you don't know. You don't know, how, you don't know the end of the story for you. So don't dwell on it too much, man. You'll bug yourself out. Let a slush you, man, coming through. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, man. There you go. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Just woke up out of that nap, man. Just like, fear not. And on top of that, I know I'm about to suffer. Whatever my lot is, man, I really don't dwell on it too much. You end up driving yourself crazy, thinking about it too much. When I mean, you think about it every now and then, we all gonna have to go through it, but you don't think about it to the point to where you're driving yourself crazy to where you up all night looking out the window, you didn't put all kind of lamps in the living room to make sure the lights are on in every room and all the light bill outrageous. But you all scared, you nervous. Whatever, whatever happened to the faith in your house, but I was shy. This is Romans chapter 15. Verse 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Now we just read, arm yourself likewise with the same mind as Yahushai. Lord Yahushai, meaning meaning suffering. No, you're going to have to suffer. But if you suffer for righteousness, say you, you become joint heirs, right? For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So what gives us hope? The scriptures. Yeah, we're going to suffer. And I got a couple of scriptures written down. We're going to suffer, but at the end of the day, we still got that hope. You know, we still got that hope. I mean, what is it? Um, Psalms 18? Let's see this right quick. I think this is the one I want. Let your how about Shemel Shai be your guide. Let him be your strength. We don't have to worry about bugs or none of that stuff either when we get into the kingdom either. Yeah, I started one. Psalm chapter 18, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, who spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies. You heard me? And from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer my power, my strength, in whom I will trust. Don't lean into your own understanding. The heart, meaning the mind, is deceitful above all things that desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know, don't be inside your head so much, right? 
trust in the Lord, my buckler, the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I look, I will call upon the Lord. Don't we got the names? Never, never forget that we got the names that we could call on to be delivered and saved from any situation, man. Remember that, Israel. Don't get so much into your head, you forget we got the names of the most powerful entities ever known to mankind that we can call on at any second of the day. Remember that, Israel. I will call upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. And you got to know that this is one of the prayers you got to constantly pray. You know, you don't know what your end is going to be. Get into your head and drive your own self crazy, man. You got faith in your how about Shimei Abishai, right? Remember the scripture said he has chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom. You know, he, he look, he did say that, you know. And then the Lord said, it's, um, it's light affliction. What did I want? Let's see where I'm at. I forgot what book I'm at. Let's go back. Oh, yeah, Isaiah 41. I think it's 41. <coughs> Salakia. This is, I just want to bring out a couple, a little, couple of scriptures through the Spirit. I woke up thinking about not fearing. Let's see, 14. Yep. Why do you have about Shem Yahweh Shai? Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. You know, who, who is Jacob? Matter of fact, I started out 13. Isaiah 41 and 14, 13. For I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not. I will help thee. Fear not, thy worm, thy worm Jacob. Jacob names was changed to Israel, people before us a place, which represents you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're Jacob, right? And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, man. Fear not, Israel. Fear not, Israel. Let's get this a rock. You know. So rock chapter two. Short little lesson through the spirit of you have about Shimia Shai, man. Exhortation, upliftment. Cover my people with these words. You know the deal. I, I started one and I jumped. So rock chapter two. Verse 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. And set thy heart aright, set your mind aright, and constantly endure. Whatever is brought upon you, take cheerfully, and the scripture is going to say that. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Now, we just read uh, Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in a day of adversity, when hell come upon you, when tribulation come upon you, you don't need a fleeing and running away from it. Run to it. You know? You got your hand about Shemel Shah on our side? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure it. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him. Cleave unto who? You have about Shemel Shah. And depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Plus, you have about Shemel Shah said in the Apocrypha, he'll give you favor in the day of one's death. To the point where it'll look like you still in the air, like to the point where you see that guillotine coming down upon your neck. You pray to your how about Shemel Shah. Next thing you know, he take your spirit and send it up to the spiritual realm, back up to the heavens. And you looking down at your body, you know what I'm saying, being mangled, head coming off and all that. You like, yo, I ain't in that body no more. I'm not I ain't in that body no more. And everybody else looking like, oh man, that was a grievous death. But you're not even in that body no more. You ain't even feel none of that. You how about Shemel Shah can show you favor in the day of one's death, man. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Easier said than done, but don't we got to do it, though? And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And the word patient goes back to the word suffering. When you start to suffer, just hold it down to the Lord, lift you back up. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Um, ye that fear the Lord, ye have but Shemel Shai, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest you fall. Ye that fear the Lord, ye have but Shemel Shai. It says, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And this is the point right here. 
verse 10. I'll click on it. Sirach so chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Look at the generations of old and see what's the generations of old? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Meshach, Shamrak, and Abednego, Daniel, and the lion's den. I'm Lord, Lord Yahawashai, first and foremost. You know, um, who else? All the prophets of the Lord, man. All the prophets of the Lord. Did ever any trust in the Lord? Yahweh Bashemel Shah was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Once again, we have those names. We have those proper names in the Hebrew tongue that we can call on and get delivered out of any situation, man. Any situation, small or great. It don't matter, man. It don't matter, man. Yeah, but you know, I can deliver you out of it, man. Plus, let's get this. Um, we're still in the book of Sirach. You know what the scripture said? Sirach chapter 4. That's why, that's why it says, what? Blessed see that readeth now. Sirach chapter 4. It's lucky. Sirach chapter 4, verse 28. And it reads, I'll blow it up. Sirach chapter 4, verse 28, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So you might have to end up losing your life for this truth. The Lord said, uh, look, fight for him. He'll give you, a, you, know, you happen to lose your life, he'll give you a crown of life, man. You know what I'm saying? He'll give you a crown on your head. All hell start breaking loose. Look, don't give up on the Lord. We ain't even really going through nothing. You got guys giving up on the Lord already. Rebuke that demon. The Lord going to show a mighty work, man. The Lord said he's full of compassion. And he saveth in a time of affliction, man. You have but Shemel Shah saveth in a time of affliction. Let's get this. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. And it reads, Red letter, Lord, you have a speaker, who they really call Jesus, our Lord and Savior, our only hope, Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Because we're going to suffer, right? But the Lord said, don't fear nothing that you're going to suffer. Behold, which means to look, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. The word devil means deceiver. Sleaze to eat. He's going to cast some of us into prison, a.k.a. them concentration camps, that ye may be tried. We just read earlier, gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? It says, um, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. The devil gonna throw some of us into prison. Be thou faithful unto death. You know, be thou faithful unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. I mean, I got a whole lot of scriptures. You know. He that in one thing that comes, one scripture that comes to my mind right now, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So that's that's got to be our main focus. Praying to Yahweh Bashimia Shai that we endure until the end. I just want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimia Shai. You know, I, I I will bring this last one out, Saint Mark. For the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. Can't look. Can't lie about that. Is it Mark fourteen? St. Mark chapter 14, verse 38, and it reads, wait for the phone. St. Mark 14, 38. It's like it's all over the place. St. Mark 14, 38, and it reads, Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready. But the flesh is weak. So the flesh is weak. That's why we got to constantly pray to Yahweh about Shemel Shah to strengthen our spirits. To be able to endure whatever's coming our way in the birds sounding, chirping, sounding so wonderful. One thing about it, Israel, this is the last time we're going to have to go through. Whatever we're getting ready to go through, this is going to be the last time, Israel. Just know that. 
Whatever we're going through right about now, Israel, just know that this is the last time. The Lord says it's light, it's light affliction, man. You know. One thing about it, you have a bunch of mail shot can make a way out of no way. That's one thing I do know. You know. Blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness sake. Just know it's rain gonna be the dead horse, but just know you have about Shemel Shah can get you out of any predicament that befalls you, man. Do you believe that though? Can't make you believe it. The Lord told us he'll be with us to the end of the earth. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Look, man, fear not. The Lord is with us, man. He's, he's right there. Get the ages of camp. I'll I, I get one more, though. The Lord wanted me to get one more. I'll get one more. These are Psalms. You heard this one before. i read it again, though. Psalms 34. Psalms 34. I started three. Psalm chapter 34, verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai with me. And let us exalt his name together. See, they, they got a the name. And like the Lord had me mention at the beginning of this video, we got the name to call on to get delivered out of any predicament, you know. Oh, magnify the, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We were searching for the Lord, right? And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Did you hear that, Israel? We seeking you how about Shemia Rashad, right? He got the power to deliver you out of all your fears, man, all your worries. That's a bad scripture right there, man. That's a matter of fact, that's a, that's a comforting scripture. They looked up unto me and were enlightened. And their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles, you see. Why? Because you called on those names. Remember, the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him. And delivereth them, man. Eh? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. You know? Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall not want any good thing. You know, come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You know, I jump to 15. The eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. And ain't we signing crying? 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles, right? The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save the such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh delivereth him out of them all, man. Okay? Out of them all, man. You know? Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Remember that. These bad times are going to slay these wicked people, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be destroyed, right? The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And that should be your mind state. Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, got us, brothers. Do you truly believe it? Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. I woke up with the thought, and I'm saying, of fearing not. And Lord willing, the Lord to keep that spirit on me, man. As well as the apostles, the elders of Greek, Millstone, and the men on down, and the true believers. Shalom.